Whoa, holy crap balls. I hope that didn't scare you too bad. What's going on, everybody? My name is Rock, and this is day number 13 in my countdown to the release of Black Ops 2. Happy Halloween! It's October the 31st. It is Halloween, and I figured what would be more appropriate to talk about on Halloween than zombies. That's right, Black Ops 2 is going to have zombies. I'm playing a little Dead Ops arcade from the first Black Ops, and not many people actually played this. They played the regular zombie maps quite often, but uh, Dead Ops Arcade was actually really fun, and, and it was actually a, a really good game. You could see yourself buying this maybe on the Xbox 360 dashboard for like 800 Microsoft points or something like that, just alone, standing alone by itself. But the neat thing about Treyarch, you know, they have really shorted themselves a lot of money, if you really think about it. Uh, the zombies as a whole, just all the different zombie maps, that could be a standalone game. But no, Treyarch, this is the third year. Not only are they giving us a really good Call of Duty game with the regular single player and the multiplayer that we all come to expect and enjoy, they also give us this whole other game in these zombies. And uh, they could really take that out of the Call of Duty series and make it as a standalone game. And I have no doubts that it would be a success. Uh, I know I would buy it. I know I would plop down 50, 60 bucks for a full zombie game experience. Because I can't tell you how many hours I have just lost of my lifetime playing zombies from World at War all the way up into Black Ops, and we're going to play a lot of them in Black Ops 2, and I'll probably be live streaming a good bit of that on my Twitch TV channel. Uh, but Zombies, just really, really fun, and it's going to be back in Black Ops 2. So let's talk about some of the new things that they're talking about in Black Ops 2 Zombies. You're going to have stat tracking now in Zombies, and that's going to be tied in to Call of Duty Elite. You're going to be able to stat, stat track all of your stats from your zombie experience. Uh, you can compare them with your friends, compare them with people all around the world. I think that's going to be fantastic. And now zombies matchmaking is going to be on the multiplayer platform, so you're going to be able to get a much better uh, multiplayer experience when you're matchmaking with randoms that play zombies. But I have to tell you, the best way to play zombies is with your friends because you know they'll never leave you hanging. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard stories about people playing with randoms in matchmaking zombies, and they just get left holding the bag. So you won't have that happening if you play with your friends. But uh, the leaderboards are going to be broken down into categories. You can uh, base them on every map you play. Uh, custom games. You can actually change the way you play zombies. If you want to put something on like headshots only, uh, at the start of a round, turn the perks on and off, things like that. You can do it all in the custom games for zombies. So that's going to absolutely be fantastic. And there's going to be three different types of zombie modes this time around. You won't just have the one basic zombie storyline. You're going to have, of course, survival, which is basically your classic zombie mode, where you and three of your teammates are going to hold up and go just as many rounds as you possibly can can and you can also play that solo as well which you see me playing the arcade here solo uh, you're also gonna have a new mode called grief and this one I think is gonna be a load of fun it's gonna be up to eight players and that's gonna be a unique uh, I really wish they would have made it so you could have more players in survival like a set of four maybe six just adjust the amount of zombies but alas it's only four but there will be eight players available in grief and it'll be two human teams four versus four and then you're gonna have a zombie team which I'm assuming will probably be an unlimited wave of zombies and it will be the humans versus humans versus zombies and uh, the zombies will attack both of the human teams but the human teams can't directly attack each other so you can't like you know shoot the guy across the map and kill him or anything but you can set up booby traps, ways to block the other team's path, uh, cause them grief, hence the name grief. And that's going to be a blast, I think. That's going to be a lot of fun. And the third and final mode for zombies this year is something called transit. And this is one that we've actually seen a little bit in the, uh, the trailers. And I'm going to actually show you the full-length zombie reveal trailer at the end of this uh, little short clip here. And uh, it's going to show a good bit of the transit. And that's going to be... 
a, a unique storyline, I think. You're going to get to explore a really big open world map. And uh, it's almost sandbox-like, but you do have a bus that will transverse this entire map area. And that's the thing, you're all going to jump on the bus. And uh, there will be some disadvantages to being on the bus. You're kind of enclosed in a very narrow, small space. You're confined to the bus. And, uh, but that, I think, will give you some advantages. If you work together, you can defend that bus quite easily. And uh, you can, if you want, take off on foot and run around the map solo. But I don't know if I'd advise that unless you can find areas to really hold up and defend. But while you're exploring the open world, there's going to be some things put into the map that were recently kind of revealed in layers. And uh, one of those was a type of car battery thing with a little light on it. The other was a step ladder. There was like a, uh, a dolly with a shield on it. That would be really useful in making a barricade. There was a type of makeshift table for possibly crafting things on. There was a severed zombie limb that's kind of in the, in the form of a fist, like it would hold a power switch or something. And then finally, there was a lawnmower and what looks to be some kind of hunk of meat. All of these things will kind of be able to build together and make something to be useful in the actual game. And I think it's going to be a blast. Zombies, always fun in Black Ops and in World at War, so I don't see this being any less disappointing. Uh, that's it for my little quick game here of the Dead Ops Arcade. Uh, next, I'm going to show you the full complete trailer for the actual zombies for Black Ops 2. But we're also doing something else today. Since it's Halloween, trick or treat, I think I needed to give you guys a treat. Unfortunately, I can only give one of you the treat. And that's going to be a chance at winning this t-shirt right here. It's an official Call of Duty Black Ops 2 t-shirt. It's an extra large. So if that's a size you're able to wear, just leave a comment down below saying, Give me the t-shirt, Rock! And I will randomly draw a name from the comments left saying that. And I'm going to send you this t-shirt. So, happy Halloween, everybody. Here is the official Call of Duty Black Ops 2 Zombies trailer. I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video in the countdown. I hope you have a fantastic day. Nuketown 2025 bonus map.